Hi folks, Technivorous here. Welcome to my Kira playlist. Before we get started, hit that subscribe button so you can find your way back here. I update often. That said, as you may have noticed, Kira settings can be very simple or very in-depth. So I took the time to make a video about each section in the custom settings menu, and I'm going to quickly go over the important settings each section contains and briefly explain them. Are you ready? Good. Let's go. This is Kira settings in five minutes or less. Now we are talking build plate adhesion types, and we are basically going to do one video on each type. This is the skirt video. Skirts are pretty self-explanatory. If I zoom out here, we can slice this, and you will see a little line down here that is a new feature to Kira 4.5 that says skirt distance. Now that's how far away from my model it's going to print the skirt, and I have it set to zero, which is giving me a three line, according to the skirt line count, skirt around the model and it is actually touching the model because it is zero millimeters away this is really close to what they call a brim and we'll go over that in the next video and basically i want to set this to about 10 to give it a little distance between the model and the skirt and we will slice it again now the purpose of running a skirt and not a brim is not for model adhesion it is basically to purge the leftover filament that is in your nozzle and make sure that things are running smoothly before starting the actual print because if it doesn't immediately start coming out and you are printing your object say it starts in this bottom corner and travels that way but filament doesn't start printing till here there's going to be a defect in this corner of the model so this makes sure everything is running smoothly and flowing properly out of the machine and gets your print going properly and helps you lay down an effective and efficient first layer now the next one we're going to go over is the brim the brim is pretty much the same thing as a skirt. It does exactly what a skirt does by purging some of the extra filament, but the nice thing about either butting your skirt up to the model or having a brim instead is that it will also hold down the quarters of your model if you're printing something square like this or a plastic with a high warp factor. It will keep this corner adhered to the bed so it won't lift up or round, which will help retain dimensional accuracy. It will, however, need to be clipped from the model when it is finally done because it does actually become attached to the model so it will give you a little bit more cleanup but you will have a nice smooth bottom depending on what you're printing on and it will keep it flat and prevent the edges from lifting and warping brim has a brim width that you can set and that will determine the brim line count uh, you can also set the skirt brim minimum length so it'll say if the brim width for the model you're doing and the brim line count isn't at least 250 millimeters, it will recalculate until it is and make the brim wider based on this amount right here. The other, the other adhesion part that we're going to talk about is the raft. Now the raft is my personal favorite. It is not as smooth as printing directly onto your glass or PEI surface. If you're using the regular Creelty magnetic bed, you really won't notice much of a texture difference between printing on a raft and printing on that bed. You will notice a difference, however, if you're printing on glass or PEI because this is printing a separate sheet. It's going to raise up by the difference of this raft air gap. So in my case, 0.3 millimeters. Then it's going to print another layer and it will just barely adhere to the plastic of the raft um, but then once that layer is built up and the model is done the raft pretty much tears away very very simply and easily this can leave a couple of rough spots or places where the raft actually interfaced with the model leading to a little bit more sanding but the extra finishing work is really no different or excuse me no more than the amount of finishing work you'll have for a brim and this one will also help prevent your edges from raising up and the thing I like about rafts is they're usually a couple layers thick. You can actually determine how many layers, how many top layers, how thick the layers are, and the line width and things like that. But the nice thing about that is it is printing, uh, if your bed is slightly unlevel, it is going to level it out and ensure that the bottom is printed on a level surface. So basically, by raising up and printing these platforms, it is ensuring that the top of the raft is all at one height because the lower levels of filament will basically bridge over any low spots in the bed. So it's a very nice thing if you have a trashed bed that is not very even or has chips taken out of it or things like that to use a raft to ensure that the bottom of your model is still effective. 
As always, this channel is brought to you by the Spine Patreon supporters. If you'd like to support the channel on Patreon, head over to www.patreon.com slash technivorous. That's going to be it for this video. As always, I am Technivorous, and thanks for watching. Don't forget to check out our main channel page where we do a free giveaway for our subscribers every month. So far, we've given away things like a Capricorn PTFE tubing kit and spools of filament. So the giveaway videos are always pinned to our main channel page. So all you have to do is subscribe and leave a comment on the giveaway video for the current contest. Feel free to check out this video right here. YouTube picked it from my content just for you. And if you haven't already, you can hit the subscribe button right here. So what are you waiting for? Become a Technivore now. Thanks again. Technivorous out.